and welcome to GAC TV News. I'm Sam Emmerich. And I'm Katie Asfeld. Thanks for joining us for our first episode of the year. Last week, GAC TV's head reporter Margarita Novak sat down with Mara Edison and Christiane Razor, co-president of Queers and Allies, GAC TV's first Org of the Week. Here's Margarita with more. Co-presidents of Queers and Allies, as you guys may know, Q and A, Q with Mara Edison and Christian right there. We want to show that we are welcoming, we are here, we're supportive, and we are. I guess we're very open to anybody. And it, may, it makes me happy to know that those who are scared or frightened to come out um, uh, know that there's someone there, more than just. Um, more than just one person or no one. We're going to have safe zone training and that is on Wednesday, November 9th at 8 p.m. And that is a great way to come and learn about LGBT issues and uh, find out what it means to be an ally. Then on November 17th, we have a transgender speaker coming to campus. Um, uh, her name is Deborah Davis. Uh, she will be in Alumni Hall from 7 to 9, uh, and it's, uh, she's a really, actually, actually a nationally known transgender speaker, so everyone that can come, please do. It's going to be a great event. Good minutes! Wednesdays at 915. In the Women's Awareness Center, the WAC. Thank you so much, Mara and Christiane. This is Margarita Novak reporting for GAC TV. Thanks, Margarita. We'll now turn to our sports reporter, Megan Gard, for the weekly Gusty Sports Update. Hi sports fans, I'm Megan Gard with this week's sports update. The women's volleyball team had a 3-0 victory over St. Kate's on Wednesday, clinching a spot in the Mayak playoffs. The Gusties improved to 19-9 overall and 6-4 in the Mayak conference. The women's soccer team also had a victory over St. Kate's on Wednesday 2-1. After being down 1-0, sophomore Amanda Cartney scored two straight goals to win the game. The women's final game will be on Saturday against McAllister. The men's and women's cross country team is gearing up for the Mayak Championships this weekend. The women are looking to place higher than their fourth place finish last year, and the men are looking to place higher than their eighth place finish. That's your sports recap. I'm Megan Gard. Thanks, Megan. Last week, Impact and Cab brought speaker Jamie Twerkowski to campus to speak on issues related to the social movement to write love on her arms. Here's Margarita Novak to fill us in. Hi, we're here with... I'm Jamie Twerkowski. I'm the founder of To Write Love on Her Arms. I think more than anything, we want people to know that they're not alone. Uh, we talk about issues like depression, addiction, self-injury, suicide, and we've learned that a lot of people do feel alone. There's a lot of shame and a lot of isolation uh, for people who live in these places and deal with these things. And so we just, we encourage people to, to lean on friends, to have a support system, and we believe in professional help as well, counseling, treatment, and uh, so we list resources and we're also able to invest in those resources as well. My name is Jake, I'm a senior here at Gustavus. Um, I found Jamie's speech just absolutely motivating and touching because I have a number of people in my life who suffer from things like that and there are people all around us that we may not even know and a lot of times like he said people do not tell other people what's going on in their lives and I think it was really cool that he was able to open doors for people and talk about the issues of just coming out with your stuff just Ad, you know, admitting that things are going on in your life and that uh, people can really help. Relationships are so important. It was really inspiring. Thanks, Margarita. Next week, the Communication Studies Department will be holding their biannual blood drive on November 2nd and 3rd. Following a record number of donors this past spring, the blood drive hopes to continue their great success. The blood drive is November 2nd and 3rd, so next Wednesday and Thursday, in Alumni Hall from noon till 6 p.m. every single day. And what you can do to get involved, if you want to give blood, we'll have people tabling every single day until the blood drive. So when you're going to the CAF, you'll see tables of people. You can sign up then. Or you could just walk in, which is really great for people that forget along the next few days. And we're really excited about it uh, because uh, it's a great way to give back within the community. 
Uh, if you have any questions about donating blood or about whether or not you're eligible to donate blood, um, you can talk to one of our um, one of the people who's tabling in the campus center uh, and they can get you some more information or give you a phone number to call. Be sure to sign up to donate either online or at the tables outside the calf to make your blood count. Sam, where's your suit? I'm ready for Harry Potter. Can you finish up? <sighs> That's all we have for you this week. For all of us here at GAC TV News, I'm Katie Asfeld. And I'm Sam Hemrick. Keep, Keep it classy, Gustavus. Sam, share the popcorn. You're not good at hogging at all. Enjoy Harry Potter. Is to love right on her arms. <laughs> to right love. To love right on her arms. To right love on her yeah. arms. Uh, From the event of right on her, right love on her arms. Wait. Can we do that again? Yeah. That was good. Yeah. I'll see. Do you know?